a fairly obvious counter to demogriffs would and should be halberds the thing halberds are not in a sort of a phalanx formation anymore which um I, I, sort of sort of annoying uh because it would be really nice to see halberds poking out at these uh, these demographs riding in. Also makes sense, bracing against the impact of a cavalry charge. However, what we've done here is we've set up some uh, Chaos Warriors with halberds facing in different directions. So uh, this would be the weapon flank exposed. This would be head on. Uh, this is head on in a denser formation. And this is back turned. So we'll see how the demogriff knights do when charging into the halberds here. These are Demogriff Knights with Halberds, so they uh, they have the bonus versus large. And this is this is just because the, the Halberd Demogriff Knights have seen a lot of use. They've been very popular. Um, being the only cavalry that can tackle, or the best cavalry at tackling large, tackling monsters, tackling other cavalry units. So we'll see what happens when they charge the front, flank, and rear of the halberds. So you can see the halberds are not bracing. They're actually chopping at the demogriff knights as they go in. So not 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 that good. Uh, the chaos warriors are dropping slightly. But you can see the demogriffs are also losing health. Keep a close eye on this engagement here though. Uh, this, this is a very peculiar engagement. Because what happens, the Demogriff Knights rear charge the Chaos Warriors with Halberds. And they, they um, starting to drop, starting to drop relatively quickly. And what's going on here, they're getting surrounded. Um, let's see over here, the 44 Chaos Warriors with Halberds left. Uh, the Demogriff Knights are losing head-on in this engagement, but notice how much quicker the Chaos Warriors with Halberds that were facing the wrong way defeated the Demogriff Knights with Halberds. Um, they basically did better than Halberds from the front, um, either in in uh, either both in a spread out formation and in a dancer formation uh, the chaos warriors with halberds are cheaper than uh, than the demogriff knights no question about it uh, but this is sort of the supposed to be a test of, of uh, and I, we, we basically could guess that this would be the result here with the chaos warriors with halberds being flanked uh, doing doing little damage and taking little damage because there are fewer units engaged whereas from the front there are more units engaged now what seemed to be happening here was that the over penetration of the of the demogriff knights uh, m made them made them surrounded and allowed a lot of these chaos warriors with halberds enabled a lot of them to to be able to strike at the at the demogriff knights at once uh, I'm not going to suggest that it's a good idea to turn your back and say come at me bro when you're facing Empire and you're having uh, You have a line of chaos warriors with halberds. There are some weird things going on After this test we tried to replicate this to find out whether it would indeed be much better to just turn your back than to take the charge head-on uh, And it wasn't uh, in most cases. It, it isn't it depends on penetration. It depends on uh, it depends on um, terrain uh, it depends on the depth of the unit you're charging, the depth of the unit that is being charged, a lot of different things. So, um, halberds can fend off the Demogriff Knights from the front. Uh, if shenanigans start to happen uh, and the Demogriff Knights charge, most of the time when you rear charge, a unit is going to be engaged in the front. So that sort of eliminates the potential for for huge overpenetration like we um, like we saw here. But yeah, halberds definitely, definitely uh, counter two, two demogriff knights. Um, the halberds are not en not entirely terrible against against infantry infantry either because of their uh, their armor piercing values. But uh, demogriff knights not invincible, and Togmata were not invincible either. There were several uh, spare units 
um, pike units able to take them head on. Uh, the issue is that there are, were many units able to deal with spears and pikes, while there there were very few units able to deal with the Tugmaton. It's sort of like that now with the Demogifs. There are many units they are able to deal with, not many units able to deal with the Demogif Knights. There are some, and we'll take a look at that in another video. Strength and honor.